Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll, uh, we'll solve a pure exchange economy problem. Um, so consider an environment where there are two consumers, one and two, two goods, X and Y. Suppose utility of one is max x1 y1 utility of 2 is max x2 y2 we want to figure out set of all efficient allocations when the endowment of individual 1 is 10 0 and endowment of individual 2 is 0 10 so let us plot this environment in the edgeworth box the dimension of the edgeworth box is 10 by 10. This is the origin of 1, this is the origin of 2. Let me just draw uh, 45 degree lines. These are the indifference curves of individual 1. These are the indifference curves of individual 2. Individual 2 satisfaction level increases in this direction. Individual 1 satisfaction level increases in this direction. Now we can just do some inspection and figure out what is efficient and what is not. So any allocation inside the box is not efficient. For example, consider this point. This point is not efficient because if you draw the indifference curve of 1 through this point, this is how it's going to look. If you draw the indifference curve of individual 2 through this point, this is how it's going to look. Clearly, if we move in this direction, we can improve the satisfaction level of both. Okay, you can just move in this direction. You can, you will move to a higher IC for individual 2 as well as 1. So, this will rule out any point in this part of the box. Clearly, uh, by symmetry, it's also going to rule out uh, any point in this part of the box. And of course, we can also rule out points on the diagonal. Uh, as you can see that moving from, let's say, this point to this point will improve the satisfaction level of both. So, any point inside the box is inefficient. Okay, And if we look at the four... Uh, boundaries then also this point will Pareto dominate any point on this portion or this portion as you can see that moving from here to here will improve the satisfaction level of individual 2 without affecting the satisfaction level of 1 because this is how once I see will look through this point this is one IC and this is two IC so any point here is Pareto dominated by this point similarly any point here is Pareto dominated by this point and same holds for this point this point also Pareto dominates every point here and there so clearly there are only two Pareto efficient allocation, this and this. This is Pareto efficient because there is no way you can improve the satisfaction level of one without reducing the satisfaction level of the other. In fact, the, these are the best points for both the individuals in the entire box. Uh, these are the points where the utility is maximized uh, for both the individuals. So these are definitely Pareto efficient allocations and every other allocation we have just ruled out that they are not Pareto efficient. Uh, so, so we can conclude that there are two Pareto efficient allocations. One is this 10, 0, 0, 10, which is this endowment. And the other is when you swap the endowment, that's another allocation. 0, 10, 10, 0, that's also efficient. Thank you.